Hi guys, very quick video. Uh, I've got a small problem. I need to mount my microphone to one of these grabby mounts, but uh, the mount has a quarter UNC thread, and of course my microphone has a 3 8 UNC thread. Now you can buy adapters off of eBay or whatever, and I think they're about two dollars, or you know, or even less. But I need one sooner than the month it'll take to get to me in the post. So I'm just going to make one out of a piece of all thread. Uh, you could just cut the end off a bolt or something. But that's just going to, to thread into the base of the uh, of the microphone. And in the other end I'll drill and tap a small hole to accept the quarter UNC thread on the uh, on the mount. Now that's that's not a terribly difficult operation, but I don't have access to a lathe to do it easily. Um, I could do it freehand, uh, which wouldn't be too bad, but uh, you know, there, is, there are still better methods. So I'm going to take the opportunity to show you a you know, method of drilling a concentric hole down a piece of rod in your drill press, providing your piece of rod isn't exceptionally long. Here at the drill press what we've got is just a scrap piece of timber, uh, which has had its, had its sides relieved, uh, and a slit cut down the centre to the depth of the uh, of these relieved edges, and that that depth is just a just a shade longer than the than the material you want to grab, and that's just been attached to the table by a couple of screws underneath, keep everything fairly clutter free and low profile. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to drill with the uh, drill bit the same OD as our piece of material, and drill down on the center line of that cut and go down until we've just I've just got a depth stop here that'll give us a drilling depth uh, so that we can sit our material in and just have have a small amount protruding at the top I didn't quite get that hole on center line and center that's line. not a particular issue as long as it's somewhere in the middle there it'll still it'll still clamp the work now that we've got the piece sitting in there and the drill out of the way, uh, we can just use a C clamp to tighten down on those ears. And of course, that, that cut allows allows for a bit of spring in the timber, and then that will then hold hold our workpiece quite firmly. And because we haven't moved anything, the hole and the workpiece are still on the the centre line of the drill spindle. Just got a, a pilot drill uh, installed, and we can just use that to gently touch off on the surface, um, spot ourselves a, a centre point. This is a brand new split point drill, so it will it'll it'll spot onto a onto a flat face quite nicely, and that'll give us something to start with. Now we've swapped up to our tapping size drill, uh, so we can just use that to, to finish off the hole. Uh, we don't need to go terribly deep and we can sort of gauge that by eye really. Okay, that hole is well deep enough. Uh, we'll clean it up and pop it out and have a look. Okay, so we've got our small slug drilled and you can see there that it's it's fairly respectably in the center it's certainly not going to be anywhere near as concentric as say a lathe but you know for a job like this you know what's a couple of thou between friends but seems to be seems to be pretty good so we'll tap that and I can get on with using my microphone properly Right, so we've tapped a bit of a thread inside there, and now we can assemble it. I'll go in there, and I'm just going to throw on a couple of fairly loosely fitting nuts, which I can just then use as stop nuts to aid in positioning the uh, the mount a bit. Certainly not the easiest method of doing this, but it will serve quite nicely I think. And there we have it, it works. 
And as a quick aside, I just want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel so far. Um, I know it has been forever since I've done a video on anything. I've been fairly busy, but thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing and for viewing my videos. Uh, I do plan to make a, a fair few more in the future, and I especially want to address one regarding my drill sharpening video. I want to answer a lot of the comments and questions that have come up a fair bit on that. So stay tuned and I'll see you soon. Thank you.